Good evening, and welcome to the latest installment of Rating Center. I'm Chip Spaulding, alongside Clay Rogers here to cover the finer points of TV ratings. What do you say, Clay? Well, Chip, it turns out our viewers have been tweeting up a storm. Everybody wants to know how the rating system works. Since we here at Rating Center consider ourselves the ratings experts, we feel it our humble obligation to give the people what they want. First, to size our audience, we turn to Nielsen. To estimate TV audiences, Nielsen starts by creating a sample that accurately reflects the population. They employ a random sample where all homes have an equal chance of being selected. This ensures that the sample mirrors the population according to gender, age, geography, race, cable status, and other characteristics. So, say 49% of the population is male. Does that mean 49% of Nielsen's random sample is also male? Well said, Chip. And all under 140 characters, totes tweet-worthy. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fastball, folks. I've just gotten word that a Nielsen correspondent is on her way to install a meter in an actual household. Let's go there live. Thanks, Chip. I'm about to place a meter that monitors usage on every TV, DVR, DVD, and game console in the home. Like a dog whistle that only the meter can hear, audio codes embedded in TV content identify the network, date, and timestamp. The Nielsen sample consists of homes that agreed to participate for up to two years. The meters have remotes pre-programmed with each household's member's info. They log in when they start watching TV and log out when they're done. That data is then sent back to Nielsen each night to be processed. Wow, looks like networks and advertisers really know their key audiences. You mentioned DVRs. How do those factor in, Chip? Funny you should ask, Clay. I actually majored in statistics. Oh, really? Yes, really. To get the most accurate ratings, you have to look at all viewing behaviors. Not only do you consider those who watch live, but also live plus same day and live plus seven days. Uh, what are you doing over there, Clay? I'm tuning in so I can watch us live. I need to check out my sexy stash on screen. Oh, totally sexy. I always just set my DVR to record us and study my Don Johnson stare at night when I get home. <coughs> <clears throat> that reminds me, I need to set my DVR to record Real Housewives of Bristol while I'm on vacay for the rest of the week. That's the first thing I'll watch when I get home at the end of the week. Hey! So to recap, boys and girls, live viewing means you watched the program as it was happening. Live plus same day viewing means you either watched it live or watched it from your DVR within the same day. Live plus seven viewing means you either watched it live or watched it from your DVR within seven days of when it aired. Thanks, Clay. Well, we've reached that time in our program where we perform our ratings formula. For that, let's go to expert number cruncher Baxter Orion. Uh, thank you, Chip. Nielsen has gathered the data from the meters to project the number of homes or viewers watching in the entire population. This is known as impressions. Additionally, each cable network has a total number of subscribers possibly watching a program known as its universe. When we take the number of impressions and divide it by the universe, we get a percentage, which is our cable coverage rating. Now, let's say two different cable networks had 25 million people watching in prime time. One network had 100 million subscribers, while the other had 50 million subscribers. Putting this in our formula, we get... Oh, oh! The first network delivered a 25.0 coverage rating, and the other delivered a 50.0 coverage rating. Exactly, because the first network's universe is double the latter. It's also important to remember that a rating is an average minute statistic. So, let's say the monster truck rally earned a 25.0 rating. Then 25% of cable network subscribers were watching during the average minute of that telecast. Oh, and what about commercial minutes? Do they count toward the program rating too, huh? Do they? Oh, you bet they do. All minutes of the program are averaged together. But many advertisers only want ratings for the commercials. For that, we just take the average of each commercial minute's rating in that program, and we include anyone who watched live, plus any DVR playback within three days. We call commercial ratings C3 ratings. 
The C stands for commercial, and the three stands for viewing within three days. Bax, you're blowing my mind. What else you got? Cable network ratings can also be represented as U.S. ratings. Only now, the U.S. ratings universe includes all TV homes in the country. The number of impressions is now divided by the number of possible viewers in the entire country. This universe is used for all broadcast networks and, ultimately, for comparing one cable network to another. And that's all she wrote. Well, that's about all the time we have for this week, folks. This is Chip Spaulding. And I'm Clay Rogers for Rating Center, saying go, go forth, forth and, and calculate. calculate. This is ESPN, the Entertainment and Sports Programming Network.